Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install this V part wig from Eunice Hair. This is a V part wig. This is not my hair. This is a V part wig. Like, this is literally a wig. And I just think it looks so pretty and so classy. The little bumps at the end that I did, this is like the office wig. This is like, I'm going to brunch and we're talking business. This is I'm going to Starbucks and I'm having a meeting type hair. Like, this is so pretty and I love it. This is what I wish my real hair looked like, but I've cut my real hair recently, so it's very shorter than this now. It was giving this length, but it wasn't giving this thickness. My hair is just not that thick. Super pretty and I love how natural it looks. Like, it just looks like my hair. It, it is my hair. As far as you know, it is my hair. It's nobody's business, it's my hair, okay? I'm gonna have all the hair specs details down below for you guys. If you guys are interested, I do recommend you guys get you a V-Part wig. They're like a very convenient, they come in handy. They really do, like when you don't have time, you can just throw it on and go. You don't have to do leave out, you can do leave out. I decided to do leave out just because I wanted to go for that supernatural look. Um, but you don't have to use leave out if you don't want to. If you don't want to damage your hair and straighten, you definitely don't have to. So that's like one of the best things about having a V-Part wig. You don't have to put any heat on your hair or anything just to manipulate your hair to get it to look like the texture of the wig so you don't have to do that so like i said details down below for you guys check them out direct the link to the wig in the description box without further ado don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're not already and if you guys want to see how i install this v-part wig very quickly and got this like little these little bumps curls whatever you want to call them then just keep on watching okay so this is the wig it's just a v-part um straight texture bob wig this is in 14 inches 150 percent density so this is just what it looks like i just have my hair like this like how i always do it for my v parts i have okay let me see i'm kind of confused okay i have this little section up here out this just like the tiniest bit because i want to hide the um i don't know what you would call that it's like a like it's like a lace type thing now with the v-part wig you can wear them without leave out but i personally prefer to have just the tiniest bit of leave out because i feel like it makes it look the most natural so that's why i have just this little part out and let me see let me just pull it all up because i'm kind of messing my hair up trying to do that so this is all my leave out that i'm going to be doing and then i just have my hair in a ponytail actually let me fix this because it's not looking the best so just to make sure i have all the hair out that i need and this doesn't have to be perfect you can do braids if you prefer to do braids um just to hold your hair i don't know how to braid and i don't prefer braids so i'm literally just doing a little ponytail like this and then I'm going to take a bobby pin and just pin it kind of twist it up a little bit and then just pin it in the back like okay well not like that <laughs> okay pin it like this this is what the inside of the wig looks like so you have your clips right here you have two clips right here one clip right here and then you have um, your adjustable straps, you have your adjustable straps at the bottom and then, you know, just like a regular wig construction. So I'm just going to adjust these straps really quickly just so it fits my head a little bit more. And also there's combs in there too if you want like more security. So I'm just going to take this and kind of this one comb that's in the middle and kind of put it back a little bit. Yeah, like that and then just go in and clip it in so since i'm doing leave out this is going to blend like effortlessly and like i don't have to put too much work into it i'm these v part wigs are actually growing on me like they're so natural looking i'm honestly loving them and then i just pull it down make sure it's pulled down kind of push that back comb into my head and you can push those front combs in I'm gonna pull this forward a bit since I have these little short pieces. I tried to cut bangs, curtain bangs on my hair, and then I realized like 
when I cut I was like no never mind so that's what that looks like Just did this a little bit too tight. Okay, this is the length. This is four. This is 14 inches. Now I think I want to cut it a bit because it's a little too, um, just not what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna take this and cut it a bit. Um. Just kind of, I'm just gonna cut it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to let my curling iron just warm up a bit and then we're going to come back and we're going to get into curling it. Now I don't want to do like curl curls. I just want it to have a little bit more of volume and just body to it. So that's what we're going to be doing. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let me just let the curling iron warm up and then we're going to come back. I'm going to show you guys this robe. Like their hair company, the hair companies are, they're like really stepping it up with like their little gifts they put in the box. Like they gave me a whole like silk robe. So let's just go ahead and get started curling. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to do like super tight curls or anything. I really just want to like give the hair some body and see if I want to add layers to it. I don't know if I want to add layers, but, but we're just going to curl it and see. So we're going to speed this part up. You guys can just see me. I won't make it too fast. You guys can actually tell what I'm doing. Six in the morning, when the sunrise will be on it. 
Okay guys, this is the finished look. I decided to just do like some little flips towards the ends because I wanted this to look like my hair but better. So because this is like way thicker than my hair. My hair is not this thick, so it's just like I feel like it's giving me I feel like it's giving my hair a fresh silk press or I just left the salon. Kinda giving me like mom vibes. Like is this me as a mom? This is what I look like as a mom. Like I just think this is so cute how I have like the ends flipped and it, it blends effortlessly into my hair. My hair may be just a little bit darker than it um, because I did go in and I used the watercolor method to dye this black. So it's not as black as it could be if I would have like dyed it with like dye dye, like with a bowl. So I think it looks cute. Um, I didn't want to add layers. I was going to add layers, but I was like, no, maybe I'll do it another time. If I, if I keep this wig, I'll go back in and add layers. But I feel like this is like so sophisticated looking. So if you want like a wig that's just kind of like make you look real classy and professional and it's like easy to put on, it takes like five minutes. You put a little bump in it, bump in the ends. It's just giving, it's giving grown woman. Like I don't look 23. I feel like I look 26 and like I have my life together and I don't have my life together. And I look like I got like thousands in my bank account, but do I? Yumi's hair, they just never fail. Like their hair, I've always like heard people talking about their hair. Like even before I even tried it, people would always be like, oh yeah, this is the hair that I buy. It's so good. It lasts so long. So Yumi's hair, get you some. Links down below. Like this is just so pretty. And I just think that this is like a wig that every girl needs in her like wig collection. A B part wig. Something you could just slip on when you don't have time. You don't feel like putting on a frontal. When you don't feel like doing a closure wig. When you want something you can take off when you get home. And not have to like scrub hairspray or gel or glue off of your forehead. This is the wig for you. So this is so pretty. And I like how it looks when I tuck it behind my ears. Like it's just giving... I just really love how natural it looks. So I'm gonna have all the hair details down below for you guys. It's from Eunice Hair. This is the V Parts wig. It is in 14 inches. I did cut just a tiny bit off, but it's probably like 12 inches now, 150% um, density. I highly recommend you guys get one. They're very, very, very affordable. They're very affordable. Like if you don't want to like cash out on a full like lace wig, get a V part and do like the minimal leave out. You don't even have to have leave out. Like that's the good thing about these. Like you don't have to damage your hair. All details down below for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.